Guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel on a beautiful Sunday afternoon in the North Dallas, Texas area. It is, oh, well, I was trying to not talk to Siri right there, 60 degrees outside. <laughs> the water at a lot of these ponds has cleared up, thank goodness, because of the last week's terrible clarity. A lot of thunderstorms have been rolling through and today is looking pretty good. 0% chance of rain despite uh, how overcast it is. So beautiful day again. We're going to get out here, try and cast a couple new lures that we just got in one of our unboxings, throw some new stuff and have some fun. You guys stick around. Devin is here with us and Adele as well. Let's get some lines in the water. Guys, it. oh, it's real good. Guys, oh, Adele got way. one before I even got my GoPro on. Yo, no way. Swim jig, swim jig, good fish. Good fish. Nice, dude. There you go. Nice. Oh, man, how is that to start the video? Mouthful of salad, look at this guy. Tell you what, we need to hire Adele, dude. He's catching all the big fish in my videos lately. Uh, so I'd say two and a half. I'd say two and a half. I think two and a half. Get a little girth to her. Look at her. Nice. <laughs> Heck yes. Was that along the grass edge or was it just out in the middle? Yep. Working this swim jig right along the grass edge, giving it a couple twitches. Got the exo swim on there. Um, but yeah, dude, crushed it, man. Check nice. him out. Woo. All right, let's get a little easy money. Yeah, okay, sir. swim jig then. <laughs> Guys, I've still never caught anything on this rat here, so I'm gonna break it out once more. We've thrown it a fair amount. This is that trash fish, all American trash fish. Uh, I believe this is a five or six slot um, owner hook. I might be wrong. I don't even remember which hook we've got on here, but anyways, we're gonna toss her out. Have you seen this thing before? No. American trash fish, a lot of people love it. Tactical bass and like swears by this color right here. Mm. Just creep it along the bottom. We're about to see, man. I like that tail, though. I've been trying to catch something with this. Yeah. Oh, what? There's little baby catfish in here. Uh, I don't think so. Unless we, like, get down there. Woo! Oh, oh no! Show the GoPro. Here, here. This. Ah! Okay, <laughs> Bye! Like, oh my god! <laughs> Bye! Is your swim jig picking up grass? I saw him take it. He came right up. Shoot. Hey, my fish. That was a cool catch. I was actually just reeling it in the last maybe 10 feet uh, to cast back out again. And I saw him come up and just white belly shloop. Got it good. Good deal. I was just kind of starting to think if maybe I should switch things up. I've got that. Guggen Squad Grass Hero Jig with that little saucy swimmer as the um, trailer. He just said, Roam. First catch for me. The pond we've never fished at before. He gave up a good fight. Let's go ahead and get him back in the water. <laughs> He's off. Tying on the Jackal Gantrell Jr. Palomar Knot 17 pound fluorocarbon. And let me tell you why. Devin and Adil have both hit on colors that are mimicking bluegill. And so with that being said, let's just give them exactly what they want, you know? So I have taken off the saucy swimmer and we are dialed in with the bluegill. You guys have got to get you one of these cutters. They offer them at uh, Carl's Bait and Tackle. Sign up for Carl's Club membership and save 30% on all your tackle like the Smiths do out here in Texas if you choose. Definitely don't have to become a member, but those wholesale savings have definitely helped us. And guess what? We're extending them your way. And you can grab one of these guys on the cheap if you compare it to MSRP at Carl's. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and make a move. Uh, we got a couple fish here. I got one, Adele got one. Uh, we saved a little baby catfish from the drain system. But I was gonna also tell you guys that the bait that Weston was just using, that uh, Jackal Gantrell Jr., is actually the bait that we are going to be giving away or Weston will be giving away to the two second and third place winners of the giveaway. So be on the lookout. We're gonna ship these off here in the next couple days. All right, guys, we have made it to the next spot and check us out. This is it. Yes, I know. It's funny to believe, but we have actually caught some fish out of this thing right here. And it's a bunch of fun. We're gonna cast from the bridge, man. Let's get after them. Starting off with the jig, man. 
You're getting hit? Eighth out. Oh, I got one. I got, oh, oh, it's a gar. It's a gar. It's a big gar. It's a big gar. No. Yeah. Yep, he's got him. Oh, bluegill. Come on, man. Don't lose those. That's bad luck. Can't believe you're losing bluegill over here. Gills McGee. All kinds of tasty treats right here, Bass. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's got him. He's got him on the crawl. No, something. Green something. Oh, oh, that ain't even a bass, dude. Look at this thing. It is. Well, this was first time last night. I don't know. Some sort of like sunfish bluegill thing. He he hit the crawl like he was a big ten pound bass, but let's let him go now. All right, buddy. All right, so we have a bit of a species. Hold on, sorry, cleaning you guys off. You got a little wet there on that release. Um, we have a little bit of a species uh, variety going on in this. We've got a couple bass so far. A couple, no, just one bluegill landed. The second one that had gotten hooked up. Let's see what else we can't <laughs> pull out of these little drains going underneath roads. It's kind of fun. I know. He was on the whole time, wasn't he? Yeah. He was on the whole time. Oh, you, you found the tunnel. You found the one. <laughs> no, hell no. Crossing lines and... Guys, we have made it back to the truck, leaving the drain spot, leaving the little ditch spot, and we're gonna make it down the road just a couple miles. There's another juicy pond right in the area. We'll catch y'all there. We're trying to get on some bass instead of just catching all these little guys. We'll see you in the next one. We have just pulled up, and uh, I think this is the color I'm gonna be throwing here. Check this out. I'm talking about no clarity, no visibility. But, uh, but the pond looks good. I fished it before. Oh, you know what? It's, I mean, I can see this pipe under the water. It's not half bad. Ah, let's cast around, man. I think this could be good. All right, guys, so walking up, I'm gonna hit this creek that leads in first. Then I'm gonna just dabble right on in here. It looks like there's another uh, almost waterfall drain on that side, and I haven't even looked at the far end, but this one looks fun. Oh, there's a bite. No, dang it. Shit. I mean, he grabbed it good, I thought. Yeah, my saw crawl done effed up. All right, we're on the other side now. Ooh, look at that rock. Oh, barely made that. Yeah. Let's go down there. I think down the street might be better. Smaller body, tear it apart real fast. Yeah, because we don't have too much time. And if we can get one or two more, it would really help this one out because we haven't got much. Well, this one has proven challenging. Just like the last few visits, guys, we're gonna make a move. We're gonna head uh, about a quarter mile down the street. One last little tiny pond to tear up before sunset. Here we go, guys. This is what we're talking about. Look, I see tree stumps, rock all the way around it. This is a smaller body of water. We're about to tear this thing apart. Uh, probably another half hour or less. We gotta catch you guys some more fish, man. Wrap this thing up. I hope you're enjoying it so far. Drop a like if you are. And we're gonna try and rip some more lips, guys. They were hitting pretty good earlier today. Yeah, a little gill or something swam out of that pipe as soon as I walked over there. I need to bring out that little deeper sonar more. Yeah, just have options. Like just see maybe like depth or what's going on. Well, I suppose we better split. We need to go get the doggies fed and yeah, I figured for sure we would catch something here real quick. Well, as juicy as it looked aside from the clarity, uh, this one threw us through the loop, man. We don't know what we're doing out here, I guess. We can't catch fish today. <laughs> I'll catch you guys at the truck. All right, guys, so we're wrapping it up here on this Sunday evening. What are we? Uh, we don't even know what day it is being unemployed and all. It's like wake up during the in the morning. It's like, hey, what what's day? Anyways, today is Sunday, March 22nd. And we're wrapping things up here at the final pond. Was this pond number three, four? Like 10. Like, yeah, 10. Lost track of days, lost track of ponds. Who the heck knows? Anyways, the bite started off pretty dang hot with those swim jigs. Y'all saw it. Um, had a lot of fun, made a move, caught some cool little sunfish as well. Used a big variety of baits, I feel like. I don't know, I feel like I tossed everything. Less than through that All-American Trash Fish, which we have yet to secure a bite on. Both him and I try to throw that fairly often because I do want to get that first big swim bait 
bass. We'll catch you on the next time. Fuck, we'll catch you on the next time. Mm. We'll catch you on the next Anyways, time. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the videos as much as we're enjoying making them. Hopefully we can get out and ca catch some more fish, film some more videos for you guys to enjoy during this chaotic time. Until then, peace out. <gasps>